Instructions for filling out Form I-130, Petition for Alien Relative. Filing Form I-130 is the first step in the family-based green card process. It aims to establish that a valid family relationship exists between a U.S. citizen or green card holder and a foreign person. This video will give you instructions on how to fill out Form I-130. But first, here's who can file it. U.S. citizens can file I-130 petitions for their spouses, children, parents, and siblings. Current green card holders can file I-130 petitions for their spouses and unmarried children. A few things to keep in mind before starting. Make sure you type or print in black ink. Answer all questions truthfully and accurately. If a question isn't relevant to you, write NA. Enter all dates in this format, month, day, year. If you don't have an exact date, give an approximate date. Now, let's take a look at the form. In part one, the sponsor answers questions about their relationship with the person seeking a green card. Part two asks for information about you, including your social security number, current address, marital status, and your employment history. Part three asks for biological info, like ethnicity and race, height, weight, eye, and hair color. Part four asks for information about the person seeking a green card, including their address, employment history, and marital status. If they're in the U.S., they'll need to include their I-94 travel record info, i.e. when their authorized stay in the U.S. expires. Part 5 asks if you ever filed a petition for this person before, and also if you're submitting separate applications for other relatives. In Part 6, the sponsor signs and dates the form, and includes their daytime phone number and email address. Part 7. If you used an interpreter to read the instructions of the form to you, they will need to write their full name and address, daytime phone number, and email address, and sign and date the petition. Part 8. If the sponsor didn't fill out the form themselves, or they had help filling it out, from an attorney, for example, the person who completed the form must sign and date in this section. If you need more space to write out your answers in any section, use the space in Part 9, or you can include a separate piece of paper. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube. Thanks for watching.